natural slime. Because we find it in nature, don't we? Yeah? Where do we find it in nature? Oh, we've got a hand up at the back. Up you know. Fantastic. Thank you. Gross. Did you have one? Yeah? In your throat. Fantastic. Whoops. There's a quick there. Yeah? Up somebody's nose again. So mainly up, up each other's nose. What about, what about this one here? So this, right here, this is my good friend, Sheldon. And over here we have Michelle. Get it? Yeah. And these are very, very special. These are actually not garden snails. These are giant African land snails. They don't look that big because these are actually babies. They actually grow to be about this big. So, where do snails use slime? It's on their foot. Yes, exactly. They use it on their feet. Where else do you think they use it? Inside their shell, you're very close. What about over here? I'm sort of picking on this group over here. What are you? Where, where do snails use the slime? To protect the body, fantastic. Those are two great suggestions. In fact, those are the two kinds of slime that snails have. They have it on their feet. What do you think that helped them to do? Move them around a lot quicker, yes. Even though it's still really slow, imagine how slow it would be if uh, they didn't have any slime on their feet at all. What about the second one that covers their body? What do you think that's for? Huh? Yes, so it's to keep them from going wet. Is there any way we can show this, do you think, Mark? I don't think they've quite got it. I know they've got the fact that they use it to move, but I don't think they've got uh, any... You guys know exactly what we're talking about? No. Uh, I think we need somebody to demonstrate how a slime helps a snail move. Don't you, Phil? Yeah, that'd be great. Um, oh, we've got quite a few hands up. No, I don't think this is one for them, Phil. I think you might have to take the mantle here, Phil. Do what? Well, well try, and, try and move like a snail. How do snails move? And slugs. They stick their bums in the air, yes. Uh, 
um, bugs. Yeah, and uh, viruses and things like that. So, if you're not covered in slime, yeah, what happens is that the bacteria and viruses can easily attach to you and then they invade to your body. But <laughs> if we take some slime, Okay, a much thicker layer probably would have done the job better. 